Good morning, I'm Sean Kent Hayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. And it's party time here. Surprise! Look at these adorable little party puppies. I have four little miniature Schnauzer party puppies that are now available. And if you are interested in a party puppy, please reach out to me. I do have people on my waiting list who I am reaching out to to see if they have an interest in one of these party puppies. But in this video, I'll be introducing you to these party puppies. And if you are interested in one of them, I will help you to understand how I came to have them and just enjoy the show today with the parties. It's a schnauzer party. Look at these little party schnauzers. Aren't they adorable? This little boy is a liver party. And my guess is that he will be a small miniature size. And this is a little boy, black and white party. I am guessing he will be a very small miniature or a on the larger size of a toy. And look at this little guy, isn't he adorable? He will definitely be a small miniature sized schnauzer. And here, look at this. This little girl is a party girl and she is a black and white party and she will be a toy size. And they are having so much fun playing. Yes, that's right. So much playing going on. Who's having the most fun, hmm? This is the little chocolate party boy. Little chocolate party boy and then the black party boy. And our little guy here, butterscotch color. Isn't he adorable? And this is our little girl. And she's tiny right now. Like I said, she will be a toy size. And I have started making calls to people on my puppy waiting list to see if one of these might be your puppy. Is the timing right for you to bring a little baby into your life? So again, I'm going down my waiting list to see who is interested. So I've got three boys and one girl here. Of course, I always love your comments and your questions. They are just, oh, they're so precious. If I give you a call and you start talking about these puppies and you decide that one of them is yours, part of the conversation is going to be about how do you want this dog potty trained in your own house? Meaning, do you want the dog to go on potty pads or do you want the puppy to go on walks out in grass? or on a patio, what are your thoughts about what you need from your puppy in potty training? And I will begin, we will begin immediately making sure that your puppy knows how to make that transition. And you can see these little puppies are doing a great job. Yes, you are, you're doing a great job. You are so funny, little miss. Already doing the frog pose, are you? <laughs> what a cute little girl this is. Look at you. Look at you. She has a lot of white on her front. So let's get a better look at her front here. Oh, are you wanting to show me your front? You're so funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're all wanting to show me your front. Is that right? There. Yes. Oh! Oh! 
There she is. You can see her front really, really well this way. Oh, are you talking to me? Hmm? It has been non-stop play for the last hour at least. This is one of the things I absolutely love to do in life is just sit in and play with my puppies and uh, ensure that they understand the potty training rituals. And so far, this little group has been doing great. If somebody starts to go potty off of the potty pads, I immediately pick them right up and put them in there. But for the most part, they have caught on and they are doing it right. And um, I just get so much joy out of sitting here and playing with them all and watching them play with each other. Yeah. These puppies have been and are being potty pad trained. As you can see right now, this little girl is doing her business in the right spot. And you can see evidence of other pottying going on here. And I will get that cleaned up immediately. We've been working on the quiet command and they are coming along nicely with quiet and so when I get out my water bottle, they get quiet very quickly. Yes. Good quiet. Yes. Yes, quiet. Now, of course, they have visitors here who are saying hello. Yes. Quiet. Yes. Yes, quiet. Yes. They haven't been able to play together yet, but they will be in the next couple of days integrated and able to play together. But for right now, this is the right thing to do, is making sure for the next three days or so that these puppies understand the structure and boundaries of this space so that they really master that they go potty that way, they eat this way, they have play space, sleeping space, and I will of course be taking them out to do activities. Some of them may even go to the Tail Wagging Readers program with me on Saturday for some socialization with some young people. Hi. Yes, quiet, yes, quiet, yes, quiet, yes, yes, quiet, yes, quiet, yes, yes, quiet. Won't take too many times of this before they really have quiet down pat. They're getting it quickly. But I can't um, stress to you the importance of having just a basic water bottle. This is just water in here, nothing more than that. And the idea is that it just gets their attention. So if they start barking to just be barking, that's when you use this. So it just gets their attention. Yes, yes, quiet. Yes, quiet. Yes, quiet. Yes. Such good puppies. Great news, they slept all night through the night in here in their new playpen area and they are eating their breakfast. So at night I lift the food and they don't have access to food, but they do have access to water at night. And so I've just brought in their breakfast very early here in the morning. And you can see they are happy to see their breakfast. We will also be lure training with all of them today. And that will be in a couple hours that it, since they'll have breakfast here. So I won't practice lure training with them right after breakfast. And I often start the very first day with a handful of their kibble 
as my opening lure experience, but I have several reasons why I'm not going to do that this morning. I'll probably start doing that the next several mornings, but right now for this morning, I'm just um, having them enjoy a breakfast as they are still learning about the routine here. And much of this morning, I will be sitting in here with them, making sure that 100% of their potty behavior ends out where it's supposed to be. Now, it might not start out there, meaning if they start to go potty or they start sniffing somewhere in this area that doesn't have potty pads on it, I will be picking them up very quickly and taking them in and putting them on a potty pad. And I will also be sitting here with my water bottle because if anybody starts randomly barking, we will be teaching the word quiet today. So there's several things on my agenda that I want to accomplish with uh, these four little love bugs, these little miniature schnauzers today. So they've just finished their breakfast and inevitably they are going to need to do their potty business and since potty training is such an integral part of having a new puppy these first several meals and first several days are so important when you're keeping an eye on your new puppy and in past videos like with Emma you've seen me where when she very first joined me and um, I began to feed her those first 30 minutes after that breakfast meal or after that training session in the morning, I am eagle eye on them watching to make sure they're going in the right spot so that I can um, acknowledge, yes, yes, good potty, yes. <laughs> Yes, that was good potty on the potty pad. Yes, good job. Yes. So this is what I'm highly recommending that you do. No matter the age of the dog, by the way, if, if you get a dog from me who's really well trained in my environment, you still need to do this your first couple of days in reinforcing because your dog will already know, you're all, your dog will already have a, a foundation for pottying. So here she's about to go. So I need to get right in, in the spot. And now I'm gonna put her right in here and let her know this is where she's supposed to go. So yes. Now I am in a fortunate position because if I have a dog that's still not getting it a little bit, I can take this pocket door and I can close this pocket door so that the dog is in the area that I want them to go in. And I'm, again, I'm sharing this with you because while you may or may not have a pocket door in your playpen area for your dogs, uh, what you can do is think about how to make certain that they are being successful. It's all about setting your puppy up for success, right? So how do I set them up for success so that they can have a really great learning moment? And I'm prioritizing they're learning. So I'm prioritizing their learning that potty behavior is one of the first things I'm working on with them when they join my um, home, when they come to my family. I want to make sure we get that behavior first. And then I work on other things. So depending on their age, like if they were born here, if they were born here by eight weeks old, they'd already have this potty behavior down pat and we'd be working on other things. But when I'm getting a puppy at, or when you are getting a puppy at eight weeks, nine, 10 weeks, somewhere in there, then go ahead and begin with getting that structure and boundaries established first. Getting that puppy uh, potty behavior under control. Then work on, if you've got a barking problem, then work on quiet with them and teach them quiet and then start the sequence that you see me doing in my playlist eight to 16 weeks. That eight to 16 weeks process of luring, you're going to see us doing that with these puppies, but just making sure it's all tying together for you as you are um, potentially <coughs> training your own puppy. Yes. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna get the, the water bottle, and when she starts just randomly barking for attention, that's when I will shift her energy either by 
offering her a toy. Yes, that's your toy. That's your toy, yes it is. Look at that tail wagging. Oh my gosh, what a cutie patootie you are. Look at that tail wagging, yes, yes. I've just added another variety of toys. We call it the puppy jungle into the mix here for them. And initially they were standing back and not willing to uh, engage with it. But after a few moments of seeing that it was going to stand still, they are now being curious, which is great to see their curiosity. When they are curious, it means that they're calm and relaxed. Curious is an emotion that doesn't coincide with fear typically. So when we are afraid, we are not so easily able to be curious. And when I see a dog's curiosity and sense of play, spirit of play, budding, I know they are not residing in anxiety or fear. Let's get your ears. There we go. Yeah. And uh, so this is really great, isn't it? Watching them enjoy these new toys. I don't recommend that you get one of these puppy jungles if you are getting a puppy that is 8, 10, 12 weeks or older. You don't necessarily need one of these puppy jungles. But I have these for my really little puppies to start to help them to develop new sensory awareness. And of course, it just so happens that with these puppies, it works out great in exposing them to some new things. But the expense of this isn't something, again, that you would need with an older puppy because older puppies aren't necessarily going to um, get the benefit out of this. And I'd have you put your money into something else like getting a really great playpen instead. So you can get a really great playpen for about the same price as you can get this thing. So go for the playpen first before you um, focus on some of these specialized kinds of toys and experiences for a new puppy. This little boy is so sweet. He will come over and want to cuddle with me. He is he is the ultimate little cuddler, aren't you? Yes, you are. I hope you enjoyed that video, this video, and oh, aren't they just adorable? Such cutie pies they are. And over the next several days, you'll be seeing lots more video about uh, the beginning stages of training these little toy and miniature party schnauzer puppies. Thanks so much for joining the adventure.